The End of the World looks loads better on Netflix. More of a budget. Real streets for filming. Extras panicking like they mean it. A real sense of... The end. The Armageddon. The apocalypse. Not like these films you get on Channel 5. Made for TV. There was this one. This tidal wave smashing through the streets. Talk about crappy CGI. And the extras. They look bored out of their minds. Uh, there was one couple. They were just walking. Now, if you're going to do the end of the world, you've got to do it right. Like you mean it. I was thinking that. Watching Netflix, some group of survivors hold up somewhere while virus-infected zombies stalk the streets. And it's getting to that point where the person on the edge of panic, you know, the, the one who is definitely going to get got by the zombies, is saying, The streets are crawling with infected. We'll never get through. And then the leader says, We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And then there's a knock on the door. How are you? I cough loudly. <coughs> and I can sense it, taking two steps back. I'm going to brave Asda, he says. Can I get you anything? Chocolate digestives. I say, chocolate digestives? Like I've just asked for crack cocaine. Are you sure? Those things are full of sugar. Wouldn't you rather have some fruit? Fuck fruit. I cough again. <coughs> chocolate digestives, he says. And I can sense him stealing himself to don mask and gloves and roam the aisles looking for chocolate digestives. I love you, he says. Are you going to be all right? I cough again. <coughs> as soon as I hear the front door slam, I restart the film. Streets full of infected. Everyone running for their lives. I love that. No crap. No emails. No deadlines. No emptying the dishwasher. No queuing for a coffee at Costa. No watching Bake Off just to free up space on the TiVo box. None of that life-sapping stuff that we think we have to do. Just survival. No crappy CGI. Across to the window and open it as wide as it'll go. It's quiet. Just bird song. The occasional car. And there's blossom on the trees. It reminds me of the candy floss I used to get at Hull Fair. I lie back on the bed, the breeze passing over me. I love having the bed to myself. Stretching out and not even touching the sides. The front door wakes me. I'm back, he says. A little while later, there's a tap on the door. There's a coffee here for you, he says. And a biscuit. And an apple. <coughs> Thanks, I say, coughing again. I was wondering, he says. It's been nearly three weeks. When do you think it would be okay to come out? I don't know. I say, coughing again. I was thinking today, but <coughs> the cough really is getting worse. Probably best to stay there, he says. 
soon I'll have to come out. Soon I'll have to go to Asda wearing a mask and do stuff. Soon I'll have to share a bed again. And if I really do get sick, well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it.